so the cops can't help me to get my stuff back, oh, but they could sure come harass me this morning. And then everybody's busy covering each other's asses, so I'm like, you know, what the fuck? What That's happened? the problem with being alone. What happened? Um, well, I've been here three weeks, and the people who said they'd help me in the last three weeks, that help that they promised hasn't showed up. So now I have to leave. The problem is that I don't have the ability to leave because the help they promised never showed up. But they got lots of little services that I can go to that end up costing me money and taking my money and taking my ability to defend myself and taking my time and taking my resources. But lo and behold, that's help, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go spend $200 in 40 hours to get 50 bucks worth of services. That's real fucking smart. Uh, so I'm not supposed to go back into Starbucks. I don't know what the fuck happened there. They said there was some sort of attitude bullshit this morning. I'm like, fuck, I wasn't even in Starbucks this morning. Then I noticed that the dude I got an issue with in there is working this morning. I'm like, fuck, you know, this is bullshit. I shouldn't be stuck in public with these people. And then I'm some sort of terrible person for how I react to the abuse. Mm. Like, you know, at first I was real fucking nice about it. But then all the recordings from yesterday and today shows that I tell people what's going on. They literally don't hear it. And you can hear me saying it in the video. And then two minutes later, it's like <laughs> their brains have shat out and are being squished all over the grounds because there's some sort of echo in their head of the same thing they've been repeating. Like, holy fuck. It's like they don't understand what I'm saying. I need help. I need legal help. I need a safe place where I'm not victimized. Like, we had all of this supposed to be taken care of before Natalie died. I, I had a, a place that I was... Apparently supposed to be safe, but I wasn't. And I can't turn those people in because the cops won't listen to me. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to have a caseworker who will do that shit, but my caseworker can't do shit. I need witnesses to come forward, and they won't fucking do it. It's because I was falsely accused of shit I didn't fucking do, and they all got fucking scared. That's why you don't accuse men of shit unless they actually fucking do that stuff. And when men do that stuff, you take their asses to court. That's right. I mean, I've literally saved two people out here in Washington State from fucking being dead already. Just in the amount of time that I've been here this trip. And when I was here this winter, fucking Susie Q trying to freeze to death over there. You know? I mean, it's not like I'm running around raping and fucking pillaging. I've been able to rescue 11 women and 8 men since Natalie died. Meanwhile, they all say the same thing about the services as you guys and those guys over there. And by the way, two of the meth heads that stole my shit are inside of the Starbucks. What? Yeah, I don't know if they're still in there, but they're allowed to go in there and I'm not. Huh? What is it? Fucking. Some bald, ugly fucker. One of them is, anyway. You like how I said ugly? He's not He's not an unattractive feller. I mean, I'm not gay, but I don't... I, I understand what an equal sense of proportion is. Right. And he is equilateral on both sides of his face. He's got the good shape to his eyes. He's got a good, strong chin. You know, he's not an unattractive feller, but... The things that he did are, are ugly things to do to another human being. Exactly. So I gotta come up with a way to get gas. They want me off the property at some point today. Okay. Well, I'll see if I can come up with a little something. I know minimum is three dollars around here. Isn't that ridiculous? Well, I got a, a gas can in the back of my vehicle. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to head back across the street. Ain't that America?
Fuck. 